hello guys so before we start this hair challenge we'll have to take a measurement of our hair as reference so the front of my hair measures 10 inches and the back of my hair also measures 10 inches as well so guys for us to do this recipe or this challenge we will be needing rosemary i am using the dry rosemary you can use the leaf rosemary i mean the green type of rosemary but i have the dry rosemary and also dry clove if you have clove powder or you know whatever once it is clove you can also use it like guys i want to show you guys the picture of clove this is how clove looks like a lot of time people get confused as to what clove is so please look at this picture carefully this is what clove looks like and this is what rosemary also looks like don't let anyone deceive you don't get it confused okay so for us to do this recipe i'm going to be using this my dry rosemary so guys now let's talk about the benefits of rosemary rosemary contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that tend to stimulate hair growth and reduce hair fall it also helps to reduce scalp inflammation moreover it even helps stimulate blood supply to the hair follicles and strengthens the hair so as you guys can see i'm adding hot water to the rosemary because i want to extract all the nutrients all the good good stuff in the rosemary because i am using a very dry rosemary so what i'm going to do now is to cover my rosemary and set it aside i want it to take time to you know extract so i'll cover it and set it aside and now i've got some water bottles this is seven water bottles because i'm going to be using um doing this challenge for a period of seven days so i just washed the water bottles freshly washed and now i'm going to add my clove to the bottle guys let's talk about the benefit of clothes this is my third video on clothes on my channel because clothes is mm, my favorite all day so clove water is rich in nutrients like eugenol that's the main thing in clove eugenol it nourishes strengthens and revitalizes dormant follicles and promotes new hair growth clove can also protect the scalp from dandruff fungal infections you know that contribute to hair loss and one reason why i always root for clove is that it really really curbs hair fall guys so try using clove if you experience a lot of hair breakage the only side effect of using clove is that it can be so drying to your scalp if you use it excessively so it's always important to always use oils and hair butter and you know leave-in conditioners anytime you use anything clove So right here, I'm putting um, a little amount of the rosemary into each bottle. And guys, I am using plastic bottles because I would throw them away right after extracting or, you know, straining the water. So guys, over here, I decided to just use rosemary that I haven't added hot water to like dry fresh rosemary. Mind you, I added hot water to my other batch of rosemary. But this one, I'm just going to be using normal tepid water. I just want to show you guys some difference between using hot water and just using tepid water. So I decided to just identify this particular bottle. So I decided to peel off the paper sticker on it so that you guys can be able to distinguish between the hot water and the tepid water which contains the rosemaries yeah so guys this is what my rosemary is looking like remember this bottle right the one i did not add hot water to this is tepid water you can see the color and this is the one that we use hot water to infuse you can also see the color so when you compare these two there's going to be you know some color changes one is going to be deeper than the other So 
so the next thing i'll be doing is to store this in my plastic container and cover it and keep it in a cool dry place until the next 24 hours hi guys this is the next day and look at how our clove and rosemary water is looking you can see that it has really and properly infused this means it is ready to be used so today being the first day of my challenge i'll go ahead and take one strain it then apply it all over my hair for you guys to see And also guys i must warn you that you have to be very very careful that it does not enter your eye like <laughs> glue has this burning and tingling sensation that you do not want in your eye So guys, as you can see, I still have my clove and rosemary in the water. I'm going to keep it like this. Anytime I have to use a badge, I'll pick it and strain and use. You know, the longer you leave it in, the more darker it gets, the more richer it gets. So, you know, that's just the whole idea. So... So after applying, I'm going to be using my coconut oil as well as my hair butter, but I forgot to capture the hair butter part, but I did use a hair butter. Guys, never leave your hair like this after using glue because glue can be very drying. That is what causes breakage. That's why most people complain that their hair breaks after using glue. It's because most people do not apply their hair oils and butter to lock in moisture. So guys during this challenge i did some at night and also some during the day depending on when i am free because you know you have to go to work in the morning you're not always at home to record so sometimes i do this at night and other days also when i am free or i'm less busy in the house i apply it during daytime so apologies in case any of my night videos are not very clear So guys, I also want to mention that I happen to have a low porosity hair. So with low porosity, what it means is that whenever you apply water to your hair, the water just sits on top of your hair and stares at you in your face. Like, what are you doing? You think I'm going to go into this hair? No way. So I have low porosity hair and with low porosity hair, sprinkling this can be very, very messy. That is why I choose to use it as a rinse. Because whenever you try to sprinkle this into your hair or spray this into your hair, it will just keep dripping and mm, it's such a messy procedure. So using it as a rinse is far, far better because you can get the opportunity to keep applying it over and over again. And that way with time, it gets to penetrate 
and cover all your hair if you have low porosity hair i would highly recommend that you use it this way as a hair rinse rather than spraying it into your hair so over here i'm just showing you guys my hair i have an extremely soft beautiful hair which i'm so grateful to god for because god knows that guy this girl if i give any heavy or bulky hair she doesn't have the time <laughs> So guys, today is the final day and I'm glad I got the chance to do this during the day so that you all can see how beautiful and gorgeous my hair is becoming each and every single day as I apply this powerful mixture to my hair. Now guys, I want to show you something. This is why some people claim that glue make their hair darker. Glue actually stains. It stains. You can see that it has the same color as the water. The glue water that I just showed you earlier. So this is the reason why most people say that their hair becomes darker. Okay guys, so judgment day is here. Let's check our length and see if anything happened like <laughs> well i'm not even expecting my hair to grow in seven days because yo everybody's hair grows an inch every month so seven days is not enough but guys i still have to check and when i did i still got 10 my hair was still just at its length but here is a deal about clove so i'm going to be showing you the breakages i experienced throughout so this is the first day this is the amount of hair loss on the first day and then this is the amount of hair loss on the second day as you can see it's lesser than the first day and it became even lesser on the third day guys i hope you are following and this is the fourth day it was even lesser on the fourth day this is how much i lost on the fifth day and also on the sixth day look at this very minimal hair breakage on the sixth day as well so guys today being the last day i'm just going to comb my hair out and also pick up all the hair that has fallen on the ground and show you the sum total of everything that i lost throughout today like today being the last day so guys for length as i mentioned earlier we all grow our hair an inch every month so don't expect a miracle in seven days powerful strength guys I can say with my full chest that it has really really improved upon my hair breakage. So guys that will be all for today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please take your time to hit the red button and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it okay. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Until then. I'll see you all in another video. Mwah.